language translate and learn which we have built. Uh, it has two parts. One is the transmitting module and one is the base station module. The transmitting module uh, consists basically of the glove, physically with the flex sensors, the contact sensors uh, and the accelerometer. <coughs> the flex sensor uh, basically works on the principle of um, the resistance being increased um, uh, depending on the flex and the contact sensors are just aluminium uh, foil patches which were where one is uh, made high and one is made ground so when there, when there is a shot a flag is raised or a condition is satisfied and it thus satisfies uh, the conditions in the code and these sensors are interfaced to the Arduino Mega microcontroller which is then interfaced with the Zigbee for wireless communication to the uh, base station circuit. All of these sensors will then help you to um, figure out what alphabet that the sign language glove wearer is signing. This project is basically used for um, inter intermediary work between the people who can sign, who use sign language as a mode of communication and with people who uh, use speech. So uh, the base station module is then connected to the MATLAB code which will give you an audio output. So after the, after the person signs, there is a button, there is a button which needs to be pressed, for example, L. That is the output that we got. So the next alphabet that was signed was T and the next alphabet was N. So these are a few examples of how after the sign language glove was built and the sign was made, the person was able to uh, hear an audio output. The accelerometer again, for example here the alphabet says G. For G, we need a tilt in the uh, signing, which is why we have an accelerometer, which gives you the acceleration due to gravity as a as a unit of voltage. H, V, K, U, U. Uh, all of these alphabets are in the American standard sign.